Have you seen it? Hey, I want to thank you so much for your support and I want to also include the team in that thank you. They are working here. Thank you so much, Yay! everyone! So good. <laughs> we are uh, preparing the orders for today and you can see here how much attention we dedicate to them with the thank you notes. And Alicia, maybe you can show it and explain something. Uh, so for every single time that somebody buys, we have a nice postcard to deliver and we like to dedicate it personally with their name and a happy thank you. Sometimes if they're from different parts of the country, we try to write the thank you in the original language, but when we have time. <laughs> but for today, it's only in English so far. So thank you for buying, for purchasing. And this is the packaging that we send out. And uh, this friend will have a new home. So we're packing him up. And which number is? Because we, we have numbers for the armatures. Oh, yes. The, yeah. The date so of... um, each armature has its, its number here on the back. And it matches the ID. Oh, it doesn't have the date of birth yet. Oh. Let's do that. That's today. So we stamp it and it says who it was assembled by and who inspected it and off it goes. And my mission today is to make an armature, a custom armature and first thing I do is take a drawing or a sketch and in here I have, because it will be quite standard, just a lot smaller. I take the drawing and I lay out all the joints here. So here you have a time lapse of me doing that. I can pick from all those parts whatever joint that I need. And I place it here. So next I have to reduce the size of some screws so they can fit in this hole here because normally they are bigger in the lathe there. Next thing is I have to measure from here to here and cut those rods. Cool, I've got a lot of parts ready. Even here they look nice. This will be all right as well. The most complicated is to make, let me pick something. The most complicated is to make these tiny rods with the bolts. You see there. But so far it's looking great. Don't I think I don't like so much is that the feet feet are the feet are quite big so I will try to reshape this and make it a little smaller in there
next step, silver soldering all those parts. looking good but I just discovered that I made a huge mistake because I planned this to work with the hinge joint like so in here and it looks nice but it wouldn't allow the puppet to move normally because let's If this is a normal leg with the balls, you can move around no problem. But if this was a hinge joint, I could only move this way, but this movement would be impossible. This only allows this axis of movement, but would be impossible to move more like so. And I have to reconfigure everything and weld again those parts. I'm used to work with ball and, and socket joints that are super great because they allow a lot of range of movement. And I switched to hinge joints that are smaller and stronger, but they have their own limitations. <laughs> The armature is finished, so happy with the result. Now I think I will be able to show you a little bit better what happened with the mistake in the knees. But apart from that, the armature is quite nice. I like it a lot. It's tiny, as you can see, this 10 centimeters, it's quite tiny for, a, for an armature. And it's a mixture of single joints, double joints, and hinge joints here. I like a lot the hinge joints because it allows you a quite smooth movement, really precise, and you can have a really strong and smooth movement in all the puppet. So yeah, what was the problem? With a single joint here, a double or a single ball joint here and a hinge here 
you can move the knees in one axis so this is possible but what's really impossible it's to move like this and that's quite important and in here it's possible because I change a little bit the design and now there is this tiny screw here that allows you to tighten the the leg but if I remove it then I have this that way I allow this kind of movement that if I tighten this so much now it's impossible so the the puppet it only moves that way that's a common issue that happens if you don't pay attention to the anatomy of your puppet and how it should move so it's super important that you really take care of all the movements there you have it the small puppet armature finished i hope you enjoyed it so much as I enjoyed making it and you learn how not to make a hinge leg because yeah I made this mistake three times now and I'm, I'm trying to not forget it again. Watch closely if the puppet can do whatever the script says that it should do and yeah if, if it cannot do that you have to, to check it and repair it till it moves like a real character and yeah so this one this one was a nice one super fun to make and and yeah at this point i'm sure you know that we have a kickstarter running i don't have words to say thanks so much to everybody that has pledged in the campaign the goal was funded in one day and some hours which is crazy unexpected i didn't expect this to happen so fast and i'm super happy the team is super happy we work so hard to make the best campaign possible um, i think that the video was appealing at least that that's what we try to do and we work so hard to make the best product possible thanks so much for watching my videos Please share the video of the Kickstarter and keep tuned because yeah, I, I have some videos coming that I think would be interesting. One of them will be explaining how we animated the sandwich with the onion rings uh, flying the, in the air. Another one will be explaining something that you have asked me a lot that it's how do you remove the rigs and how you make the post-production so that that's something that i was avoiding for so long time because it was a little bit scary to to explain uh, about a software in this format that i'm not really used to but i think i will do that and yeah so thanks so much see you in the next one bye introducing the kinetic arm a handy rigging tool featuring quarter inch 20 thread and 16 millimeter spigot at either ends on 12 millimeter round rods that can be attached to all that gear that you already love like c-stands clamps or photo gear what makes this arm special is its compatibility with our kinetic armature stop motion rigging gear like extending or adding special capabilities to your support tool. Helping in your daily studio work to clip, pinch, grip, hold, and secure almost anything in a flexible way, quick and easy. It's versatile and modular because you never know how many things a client may want you to hold up in the air. You can trust this tool to get the job done especially in those complicated projects that require precision, control, and flexibility when problem solving. Manipulate the arm with control and tight movements, thanks to the friction in its joints, or loose and easy with a twist of the handles. Use your kinetic arm in live action shooting too. 
Rearrange the pieces and bend the arm any way you need, keeping your object steady during a slow motion take or a motion control operation. Humidity or liquids, whether intentional or out of control, will not affect its performance or longevity. There are many creative ways to make the best use of the kinetic arm, like using it as a comfortable camera handle when you don't have a camera cage. And if you do have such equipment, with the kinetic arm, feel free to attach as many gadgets as you need for your shoot. It can hold up to one kilo and provide a vast variety of options to work with. The kinetic arm is practical, small and light. Get yours now.